Hi. Welcome to the vlog. I'm not a vlogger. That's more of his strength. Here we are in the corner. A crazy price, you know? I like this ball. Homespun. I don't. Ooh. You want to say anything? I'm not very exciting. It's a lot of yarn. This is going to be one hell of a haul video. Yeah. Welcome. We are back from the corner. And I have a haul video for you. I bought a lot of yarn. We're out in public. I'm gonna show you it. There's some other knickknacks in here. This is not yarn, obviously. But let us get started. I'll start with a little bag. So this is from a thrift store we went to. To start with though, the stuff that is in here, it's all a dollar at the fiber art show we went to. The fiber art show was supporting the local fiber arts museum there. So there were a lot of great deals. It was for charity. I got a lot of different thread in various colors. I just kind of bulk buy to be perfectly honest. Just got random colors that I thought I would use. Gold. A lot of black. Red. And more gold. This is more for embroidery than for weaving though. And then like silver at the time, I didn't think I was actually gonna use it, but I ended up buying it. I don't actually remember putting it in my basket, but it's just like a dollar for charity, so who really cares? <laughs> and then a lot of receipts. One of the ladies actually wrote her email, so it was more of a networking event in the end. At the thrift store, which the bag is for, I got a Caterpillar stamp. It was 50 cents. I think it's adorable. I really hope it works. Who doesn't want a caterpillar? I got earrings. I don't think those really matter. It's not yarn. When we first came in, we, we got up very early, as the vlog shows. I was very tired. We wanted to get there before it opened at 10 o'clock because the first 100 people were gonna get like a little goodie bag. I didn't think about how like most of the people, there were probably only gonna be like 50 people showing up, maybe tops at that time period. So I got there really early for like no reason. I did get a very cool magazine. It has a lot of uh, ads in it sprinkled about, but hopefully I'll get past the ads and find the articles. I'm sure they're in there. It was just it was me being judgmental. I'm gonna give it a shot, I promise. We have like a curve ruler for patterning. It was a dollar as this thing says. So I don't do too much pattern making, but if I do, at least now I have a curve ruler, which is kind of nice. And now, we're back. Roving, hard to find, surprisingly, because it's kind of a niche, like a uh, hobby. Most people are into like crocheting, weaving, knitting, that kind of thing. Not a lot of people are into spinning. So I found some brown. I actually have not felt it. I have no idea what it is. But I saw it. I don't even weave a lot with brown. I weave very little with brown. It feels... Probably like sheep's wool, I'm guessing. It's not really soft enough to be alpaca. I'll just guess. There is no tag on here, otherwise I would say where it was from. This was all donated. This was like in a little mini shop from a bunch of vendors that donated to the museum so the museum could sell their products to make a profit. Uh, so everything was really cheap and I wanted to buy a lot of stuff. And I got it in another brown. And I got four all together. I got two of the light and two of the dark. And I would have gotten more, but I didn't want to be like, like hog all of it. Cause I'm sure other people wanted it, but I got there really early. So it was just a giant bin of it. And they only had brown, sadly. Otherwise I would have gotten a bunch of colors. And so when we first came in, we got these little gift bags. I haven't really looked in them actually. So I guess this is like a, a real unboxing video. Having grown up watching YouTube, I always thought it would be very fun to unbox stuff on camera and 
be excited about it, but it's surprisingly, when you're under pressure to open something very fast, it's quite stressful, I'm not going to lie. They included a bunch of like patterns, which is very cool. Um, they're really cute, I wish I was into quilting. This is very tightly rolled. Oh, that's cute. I can knit a baby bib. I guess they expected that a lot of grandmas were going to come to this event, which is why they made baby bibs for grandchildren. I don't have children or grandchildren, so I'm at a loss. So they gave us this little bookmark, which is actually really cute because they had posters all over La Conner, and I really wanted to get a poster. I wanted to steal one from like one of their like restaurants or something like that, but they were always inside a restaurant, and they were always like the restaurant or the store was closed, so I could never get one. And then they have little Hershey's chocolates pencil for the museum and fabric. I really had to like, I was just trying to choose quickly. I had no idea what fabric was going to be in here, but there's this floral. These are uh, fat squares it looks like for, yeah, they look like flat squares. Um, more for quilting because they're small portions of fabric. I don't know what I would do with them. I'd probably mix them into scrunchies. I don't know if I'll be able to open this quickly. Danny, you can just edit this. There's a dog over there. Oh yeah. I got the bag open, thanks to editing, hopefully. There's just the same stuff in here. I'm guessing it looks like the the same pattern as well. A different fabric. So it's this really pretty kind of um, watercolor slash tie-dye fabric. And then more floral. Floral is very popular. That's the one I chose. This is the one Danny chose. Um, I don't know if he chose it on purpose. His favorite color is pink. So maybe he did. Um, but here's the two. I have a bunch of stuff in this. Some of this is not actually from the event, so I guess I'll just try and pull out the ones that I got thrift shopping. We, we stopped in the thrift store, a consignment shop, and I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any yarn because I was going to a fair that was gonna sell yarn, but I came in here and they had a dollar for macrame rope, and rope is usually pretty expensive, so it's not really a lot for macrame. But I thought it'd be cool, like whether it's hanging a weaving or weaving it into to have more texture. Not really sure, but I thought it was a cool find for a dollar especially. This was in the free bin. I'm not really sure why. It's just really thin uh, yarn. It's kind of dirty. I might like like undo it and put it into a skein and then clean it. I was very surprised. They could have gotten like 50 cents off of this. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember what I. Oh, this one. So, the caterpillar stamp from earlier. I really wanted it. Danny wanted to pay a dollar, so I had to find something else that was 50 cents, which this yarn was. Um, I recently got uh, like a spinner that spins yarn into a ball. I'm very excited about it. It was like was not cheap it was not expensive it was in the middle i felt a little weird about paying 40 dollars to spin yarn into a ball but i bought it i was feeling sick i had a headache i wanted to buy something to make myself feel better i used it it's a dream it's wonderful i want to re-spin all everything even things that are already in a ball i love it so i think that's it now we're into the actual stuff i got at the fiber show if there is anything in here from still from the thrift store, I'm just going to lie and say it's from the show. Because first thing, I like this one because it has a tag, so I can tell you what it is. It is an elegant mohair blend. This was in one of the bins at the very beginning that the profits go towards the museum. It is 77% acrylic, 11% wool, and 11% mohair. And 1% metallic thread. So it's really not... I guess when they say an elegant mohair blend, they really mean a blend. There's not a lot of mohair, but it is soft, which you, is really Do you know nice. what mohair is? Mohair is... You're putting me on the spot. I knew it at one point. I knew it because I had, for my fibers class, I had to learn all the yarn mm -hmm. types. So if we don't know, we'll put up a, a we'll definition. Put up a, we'll put up a thing right, right here. here. If I was right or wrong, I have a feeling I'm wrong, but... It's really soft. I might be thinking of cashmere, but cashmere, cashmere is not bunny. I forget, I'm just showing off that I don't know what I'm talking about a lot of the time. But I do know mohair is soft. Okay. And I have a mohair sweater at home that I'm currently unraveling for yarn. And I, the reason why I bought it to begin with was because it was soft. So similar thing. I think it's by the similar, com by similar company. Uh, it does not have a tag on it. 
I like it because it has a lot of texture, which is really nice in weaving. I don't necessarily know if I like the colors. I don't think I do. I liked it because I do fiber share, which is a yarn swap, a uh, supply shop or swap for knitters, crocheters, anyone who really works with fibers. Uh, they're on Instagram. If anyone sees this video, which I doubt anyone actually will, uh, they should check that out. They're into yarn. Because it's basically just like a pen pal that you send yarn to and they send someone else sends you yarn. So I could always put that in my like swap because it does have a lot of cool textures and I would love this if it was in like reds, really any other color. I found this one earlier before the camera was rolling. I looked in here and I thought, oh my god, this is so pretty. I completely forgot about this. So it is really pretty. I like it because I don't know if it probably won't come up on camera, but it is a total blend. There's like greens in here. There's green thread that is wound in the yarn, which makes me think it doesn't seem like, I have a feeling that it's just, it's not hand spun, but it is like a really nice detail that I don't always see in, in like a, like store brands, like Michael's brands. Oh, this is the similar one. I was wrong. So the last one I showed you was this one. This is more of a reminder to me, but it's basically the same one, but in a different color. And when I said that I would like this if it was in a different color, I was wrong because I really don't like it in this color either. I think paired with the right colors, it could be really cool. Maybe like some other blues. The silver kind of has a bluish color to it, along with the golds. And then this one, this one kind of reminded me of roving, but now that I think about it, it's not anywhere near as thick as roving. But it does have, it's really soft, and if I put it in a rug, if I like wove it a ton and made like a patch, uh, uh, on a rug, it would be really soft in that one area, so I think that'd be pretty cool. Probably pair it with more reds, maybe oranges, that'd be pretty cool. This green, I don't remember where I bought this, to be perfectly honest. I don't remember ever getting this. That's the cool thing about it, uh, buying way too much yarn. It's made in Ireland, and it is 90% wool, 10% Angora. I think Angora is rabbit. We'll put whatever Angora is right here. We'll put up what they are. The brand is Debbie Bliss. It's luxury tweed. Very cool. It's really pretty. I love the green. And there's a bunch of different greens blended in. This one is a hoot. I think this one is wild. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know. I just want to keep it on my like on my bedside table and just look at it every morning when I have to get up. This would this is beautiful. I don't <laughs> I think it's crazy. I don't know what it's made of. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know who she is, but she is beautiful. <laughs> uh, so some of the shades in there, I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up because I'm not the one filming, but there's pinks, greens, obviously this really dark purple, like a blue, and they're all woven in. It's, it, it looks hand spun to me, but I really could not tell you. I have never seen anything like this at an arts and crafts store specifically like Michael's. I'm sure there's stuff like this on Etsy. There's a little bit of turquoise blended in as well. And I just felt like it was a really cool find. And I have no idea what I would weave this in. I have no projects in mind, but I just love knowing I have it if I ever want to use it. It's just amazing. I don't, and then this one, this one's another really cool one. This one is pretty wild how I always go for these really thin, thin ones, but they always look in like a roll, you know? They look thicker than they actually are, and then you unroll them, and then you realize the actual thread is pretty thin. And this is another rainbow one. I don't do a lot of rainbow work, so this might be another one that I maybe send to a friend. But it's really pretty, and I think it would create really good texture, specifically if you did like a bunch of like raya knots or something like that and weaving. This one is an, oh my God, I just got a lot of the same thing, I realize. This one's pretty cool. I'm actually currently deraveling a sweater that has this basically woven into it with regular yarn. And you basically, when you're knitting a sweater, you weave this in with regular yarn and then you have like a texture to the yarn, which is really cool, besides the regular yarn texture. I think this is really, this would be very cool to do rye knots as well, but do it like kind of like a layered. So it would look, they would be closer together and then they just create a bunch of texture. This would be really cool to include with macrame, but do macrame with like really thick yarn. This purple, this is obviously hand spun to me, which is why I grabbed it. And I don't know if you can see that it that well on camera. And I could be pr wrong because I'm not traditionally trained, 
but from what I've seen in terms of like thrift shopping and buying homespun and I just really like the colors there's a lot of blues purples it also looks like it could be hand dyed just because it's not really anything I've seen in a store before so I automatically pick this one up just because anything that's hand spun or hand dyed it's automatically more special pardon the cars someone's driving very fast in a very old car this one is wild probably a blend of something this is not completely wool it's probably some kind of synthetic blend but it is uh, I don't usually buy synthetic bl blends if I can help it uh, just because I prefer to do like a small business kind of thing if I can especially um, small business like in there's a store here where I live where they do a lot of like thrift yarn but they take in like small vendors as well I think this will be very cool texture wise I always try and look for cool textures especially specifically in weaving and then this one's another wild one also I don't know what I would I got a lot of these rainbow ones but I don't necessarily work with rainbows. Another one I give to a friend, but it's so beautiful. I didn't want to like say no to it, you know? She was calling to me. I like the way it's scrunched. It's basically like someone took pulled a thread and scrunched it all together. And then this one, I don't know where this one's from. This is more pinks. I like this one because it's all pinks and silvers, it looks like, individually blended into it, or pink and like a silvery blue. I like the ones that are a little bit more like uh, two colored, three colored, so there's a little, they're a little easier to match with other colors when weaving, because I'm not necessarily knitting a sweater that's all one color or all one yarn. Actually, surprisingly, I've collected a lot of pink yarn, even though I myself don't really like pink that much. But somehow, when it's in a yarn ball form, I'm just in love with it. So this one is awesome because it has a tag, which I have just by accident pulled off. A one percent nylon and twenty five percent mohair. So. Obviously, I'm not an expert when it comes to fiber stuff. I'm just a fanatic. So this one's very similar to this one in my opinion. It just has a little less. This one's a little bit more contained. This is her going to work. This is her going out, parting with her gal pals in Vegas. This one's beautiful. It reminds me of Ariel or like Aquamarine, the, the movie or H2O, the Australian TV series that captured the hearts of every young girl that ever watched it. Oh, I got the same thing basically in a different color. I don't want to go into much into this one. It's basically the same thing in a different color. But there's turquoise, purple. Where is she, um, where is she going now? She's clubbing in Vegas as well to keep the storyline the same. My bad. I don't know. I don't know where she's going. She's, she's all over the place. Oh, this was from the store, the thrift store. My bad. I don't know. It just, it's very much hand spun. I don't think there's any. This is all very, like this is thick, this is thin. It's obviously hand spun to me. Um, it has some thread in there, which is kind of cool, and then it has purples, a magenta, gray, and like a black. This one's hand spun as well, but this one was from the Fiber Art Show. It's also really soft. I love the dye job. It's uh, greens, purples, silvers, and then like this darker blue, but then also lighter blues, which are kind of the colors I mostly work with. So I think that that will work with a lot of my projects. And then this one, also hand spun. It's just all my hand spun stuff is at the bottom, I guess. It was organized that way. All one color, easy to explain beautiful feel I love that it's like a mix of like a mint green and a turquoise which I have I rarely see maybe I'm just in the wrong yarn shops but I don't see a lot of this color which is pretty cool hell yeah okay so another one of those ones that looks really thick until you pick it up and then the strands are very thin and they don't they take a really long time to weave because they're so thin unlike roving which is just like you do like 10 strands of it and you're like you have a full weaving like wall hanging so this one's dark blues and blacks and whites it's really beautiful it looks like the ocean to me on like a stormy day sorry I was just thinking about stormy and I was thinking of Kylie Jenner's child but it does not look like her child at all so this one's a similar thing only in like a fiery like embery blacks dark browns obviously red be a great like if you have anchor issues just hold on to that oh this one this one from the thrift store as well it is very very cool because it is basically velvet but strands of velvet it is velvet queen a blue steely gray Ooh. she is small she is beautiful She's and small. um i saw her she was she was 25 cents and this bitch should have been like a dollar she's gorgeous all right we're getting towards the end and thank god because we have looked at hello yarn this one i bought i'm currently making i'm stocking up to make a wall hanging for my mother and she's very particular about her colors 
So one of the colors that she says she wants is green, but not too green. It has to be olive, but not, but not too green. It is from the brand Glace, it looks like. And then you can find it online at Barico. So I'll hold that up. And then it's 100% rayon. And now we're at the very end, my babies, my pride and joys. I went into uh, the same store that had this, had these beautiful um, skeins of, um, the reason why I think they're so beautiful is one, they're beautifully thick and they're, they look like they'd be a dream to work with and weave with, but also the colors, the dye jobs are just magnificent. It is approximately 90 yards, which is pretty good. This one is kettle dyed pure merino wool, which I think is really beautiful, that I love this kettle dyed. It obviously looks kettle dyed, it is beautiful. And then this was the one I picked up for myself just because it is just all the colors that I work with, um, just an addict for blue. And I just loved the idea of working like blue roving with this and then, you know, this, I don't know, it's, I'm gonna go wild. They're very big also, they're very thick, so I don't have to worry about you know, moving them around and not having the camera pick up on them, you know? They're beautiful and I can hold these all day. I'll just keep them here. These were from this, from the, the show, the fair. It was just, there was a stand where the lady was saying that these are called woolies and they're basically look woolly like they're worms. just- Woolly worms. Woolly worms, yeah, woolly worms. They basically look like just strips of wool um, surged together, it looks like. Um, but they were 50 cents each. I'm currently in a fiber arts class where I can go and dye these. They still have a lot of dust in them. And so I guess it's good that they're outside. So I'm planning on going and kettle dyeing these in my fiber arts lab. So they'll be like a whole new color. So I'm very excited. I got four of these, spent $2 there. Probably should have spent a little more because I love them. But she actually gave me her email. So we formed a connection there. So if I want to buy more, I'll have more colors soon. My pride and joy. She was shown earlier in the video, Easter egg, if you can find her. Um, but this steamer, we're gonna cut to it at the very end to see if it actually works. You'll see my true reaction. I don't know if it works yet. Um, I really hope it does. It is, um, it was not very expensive, but I saw this and I was like, I love a steamer, you know, steam my weaving, steam the fringe, make them look real pretty and nice. And then I, uh, we came back later in the day after breakfast and I saw it again and Danny was like, you know, you want it. I was like, well, yeah, but I don't need it. And he's like, you want it. And so then I got it and I'm very happy with my purchase. Well, actually he purchased it for me, but I'm very happy that I told him to purchase it for me. Um, so yeah, we'll head to this. Uh... So yeah, this is my first yarn haul, my first video. Uh, for so long I dreamed of being a YouTuber. Here I am with one, one video, zero subscribers, living my best life in what used to be the sun, but is now the shade. Watching people who are more athletic than me and probably have better job prospects than working with yarn all the time. But here we are, so uh, thank you for watching or listening. I could see that you'd definitely be more inclined to listen than to watch, because it's not particularly interesting. But thank you. Thank you for being here. Hope you have a nice day. So long. Hello, we're here with the steamer. We are going to try it. I'm gonna. Turn it on, big reveal. Now it just has to get hot. We'll just wait here. Not sure how long it takes for the steamer to heat up, but I'm guessing it's more than a couple seconds. Second try is the charm, you know? As they say, uh, just gonna press the on button. Once again, this time there is water in there. Um, I can tell you that it, it does work. It does get hot because I put my finger in there and uh, Thought it was a filter like a Brita, but it was not. It was, it was where the heat comes from and I burn my fingers. Thank God for ice cubes, am I right? It does work. It's making sound. No steam yet, but when you know, I'll know. Or when I know, you'll know. Oh, oh, here we go. It's bubbling. It's steaming, it works. Look at that. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I hate myself. It works. That's all that matters. Thank you. <coughs> I finally breathe. Oh. <coughs> I've had a cold for like two months. It feels so good. <laughs> it's the best 
certain amount I've ever spent. <laughs> oh. Why don't you say how much you spent? I don't know. How much I spent? It wasn't that much. Danny spent four dollars. I just wanted to keep the people guessing. Oh, it's really working. Wow. I wonder if... I wonder if I could like... <gasps> Ooh. Then I... <gasps> it's like ironing yarn. Oh, did I just discover something? Watch your hand. Oh. Thank you for watching. I should name it. I should name it Britta. Okay, I guess we're just gonna call him Pax, like the lion from. Okay. From what? Pax the lion from uh, the the game, the Netflix show. <laughs> Bandersnacks. Pax. Yeah. There's so many. What's the what's there's... the show called? What? What's the show called? Black Mirror. Black Mirror. From Black Mirror. Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. Pax, the evil lion. Because it burned you? But this thing is not evil. This is, there's a sweet name. Like Elaine. This is Elaine. Yeah, an Elaine would use this product. This is Elaine.